Was geht, Leute? Willkommen zurück zu Los Judgment. Ich hoffe, du bist wieder mit dabei. Auf jeden Fall, Leute. Ich weiß, es kam kein Video. Oh shit, das war jetzt die Strafe dafür, weil kein Video gekommen ist. Aber Leute, abonniert, aktiviert die Glocke, lasst mir eine Bewertung da und schaut unten in der Videobeschreibung, weil du auch gefragt hast, wenn mein Insta. So, hat alles verlinkt. Der hat eine Waffe im Modus. Vorbei. Oh, der hat ja übel Leben, Modus. Ja, ich kann auch ausweichen. Aber alles gut. Da kommen noch mal Gegner. Bester Raum, Drau, irgendwas. Der hat ein Schwert in der Hand, Moro. Oh, der hat den Schlangstil, ey. Aber bringt ja halt nichts. Das war's schon. Ey. Kurs ausgewichen. Jemand hat geschrieben, ich weiß, ich kann die Dinger benutzen, dieses ähm, das hier. Ich kann die Sachen benutzen, ich weiß, aber ich weiß nicht. Gerade im Moment. So, you Yagami Yanaki? Tessa-san told me to let you in. Uh, Yagami Yanaki? <lacht> Will you be coming inside? Sure, let me pass. This way, please. Go. So, Aniki, do I have to call you that? <laughs> Take a seat. And you too, buddy. This will be fun. And which of your names should we be using for you now? Kiwana? Or do you prefer Kitakata Sensei? Kitakata is a name that's been all but murdered by society. Any Jean Cho? I'm just a merry old handyman, Kuana son. If you ask the cops, you're the murder suspect, Kitakata. After killing Sawasensei, you fled the scene. At least, that's the story the police top brass are passing down through the ranks. Now, why would they say something like that about you? Calm down, Yagami. How come you never relax? So Kuana hired you guys from the start. And you pretended to not know each other in front of me? If that's the case, you really went all out for me. Didn't I tell you? The Liumang accepts anonymous requests, too. Tesso didn't know I was the one who hired him. I suppose there's no point in hiding that now. That's just how it is. Nothing to get mad over, bro. You really aren't hiding anything? Did you tell him all you've done? He's a former high school teacher who's going around killing bullies. Can't be much more to hide than that. Can you get any more convincing? <laughs> Honestly, I'm at a loss. I worked my ass off to get where you are. And I'm still trying to untangle the mess you've made of it. You've got my student helpers by the throats. So I'm really backed into a corner here. You mean the graduates from Kurokawa Academy? Like Mamiya-san? Very good, Sugiira-kun. So how about it? No reason for us to doubt each other's intentions, right? All the secrets are out in the open now. Fine. Then I'm gonna light up. You were just over at Komi Jewel, weren't you? RK was looking for me there. The police even lent them a hand. Yeah. Well, now I'm even more confused. I give up. Who in the world could be after me? 
Who has influence over both RK and the police? Care to venture a guess? They'd be the uneducated guesses of a handyman. You got any bright ideas yourself, Master Detective? I haven't confirmed it for sure yet, but I have a pretty good theory for you. Oh? Uh -huh. Who? War das die Vizeministerin oder nein, nicht RK? Öffentliche Sicherheit war es oder nicht? Eins von den beiden, ich weiß nicht mehr. The Public Security Division. That's what a detective from Kanagawa PD said. According to them, you're the prime suspect in Sawa Sensei's murder. That's why Kanagawa PD was told to lay off RK. Any trace of RK in the footage near Sawa Sensei's place is gone. Likely public security's work. And with that kind of backing, it's understandable why RK is so confident. Yo, hold up again. Why is public security after Kiwana in the first place? Huh? <laughs> So sollen die die Scha Staatsanwaltschaft schützen. Sie wollen das die RK vor keine Ahnung. They might be trying to protect the prosecution's reputation. Huh? What do you mean? Kawana fabricated a sexual battery and got a guilty verdict out of the prosecution. And that was used as an alibi for Mikoshiba's murder. If that goes public, the prosecution's reputation will be in ruins. That's why public security needs to silence Kawana quietly. Oh. You think public security would go through all that to protect the prosecution's rep? Okay. <laughs> Can't say I'm really feeling that either. Yeah. I'm starting to have doubts myself. This is all to preserve RK. Public security doesn't want them to disappear. That's why they're trying to close the book on the case by saying Kawana killed Sawasan. Why? In Kamurocho, with the Tojo clan disbanded, ex Yakuza are scattered all over the place. RK has absorbed them into their network, and public security is monitoring them to keep the peace. Then why is RK after Kawana san? Was public security already helping them at that point? Huh? Well, uh, I'm not too sure. Come on. We're screwed if we can't figure this out. Right. Give me a sec to think. Public security is probably working for Reiko Kusumoto, Vice Minister of the Ministry of Health. What? Kawana, you had your students kidnap Shinya Kawai, right? Five years ago in Kamurocho? Kawai bullied Reiko Kusumoto's son, mitsuru That painted a target on his back for you. But before you took Kawai out, you approached Reiko Kusumoto with your revenge offer didn't you? Ahara told us that. Before taking revenge on a bully, you'd approach the family about it first. Did you make the same offer to Reiko Kusumoto? What if I did? She's the vice minister of the Ministry of Health. She's pretty popular. She's even cleaning up her predecessor's mess. If it were to surface that she agreed to a revenge killing, they'd have yet another massive scandal on their hands. And if you get to go down in cuffs instead of a body bag, that detail may just come out. Before that can happen, Reiko Kusumoto plans to ha have me silenced and use public security to do it. Exactly. Except public security can't just go after you, so they subcontracted RK to do the dirty work. That would explain why public security is trying to cover for RK. I see. Well, the logic starts off soundly enough. Something wrong with it? Unfortunately, yes. Something does stick out. And what's that? I did, in fact, approach Kusumoto-san five years ago about taking revenge on Shinya Kawai. And just as you said, I used Mama Yakun and the others to kidnap Kawai. And? From that point on, Kusumoto-san knew I was directing Mama Yakun and the others. She'd seen their faces, knew their identities, everything. So, if Kusumoto-san wanted to go after me, Mama Yakun and the others would be first on the list. But the fact is, 
Public security hasn't laid a finger on them, even now. Which means... Kusumoro-san isn't the one giving them orders. Sure. That makes some sense. Hey, so sorry if this is off topic, but... What was Kusumoto-san doing when Shinya Kawai was killed five years back? She was standing right there with me. Afterwards, she took three days of PTO. And that was a first for her. Why? Shinya Kawai died at the hands of Kusumoto-san. She drove the knife into his chest personally. She took it slow, making sure he suffered the whole time. Just like Akihiro Ehara, she avenged her son with her own two hands. I admire her. She killed Kawai herself? Afterward, she told me she'd never wash the smell of his blood off her hands. Damn, man. I was the only one who knew that, by the way. The others have no idea. On that day, five years ago, I sent them straight home after they brought me Kawai. And I was the only one with Kusumoto-san when she killed him. This sounds way too crazy to be real. Even so, the fact is Kusumoto-san hasn't betrayed me. Besides, I doubt the Vice Minister is powerful enough to order public security around. Then who is giving them their orders? Well, I'd say your theory's on the right track. I'm sure public security contracted RK. It lines up with what's happened so far. I imagine they're so persistent, because they know I can be used against Kusumoto-san. Either way, whoever's pulling the strings is someone who'll benefit from your capture. So if it isn't Reiko Kusumoto, maybe it's one of her enemies? An enemy? Yeah, like someone within the Ministry of Health, or maybe even some kind of political rival. Nothing would be more valuable to them than dirt on Kusumoto, right? They're probably trying to take her down. Or, they could threaten and manipulate her as they see fit. Is that why public security has been taking action? If they wanted to take her down, they could have had the police investigate her fair and square. Right. Kusumoto-san can walk away from the Ministry of Health any time she wants. Plus, she has the public's support, especially with the younger crowds. All just more reasons for her to have enemies. I read some article about how even the Prime Minister has a hard time with her. <laughs> like, she'll get up in his face every time he signs an order. Dumbass loses so many arguments, he practically works for her now. So the Prime Minister is trying to find some dirt on Reiko Kusumoto? He's just an example. Weren't you listening when we said Kusumoto-san has lots of enemies in her position? Hey, don't be a dick. So whoever's behind this, may have been looking for a weakness in Kusumoto-san for a while. They must have got their start after realizing Ehara's case was really about getting revenge on a bully. That puts Ehara and Reiko Kusumoto in the same boat, being that their only sons were bullying victims. And if they discovered that Kawai also vanished five years ago, Regardless, that wouldn't account for the rest of the incidents where a bully ended up dead. You'd know. You're the one going up and down the whole country killing them off, aren't you? Kawhi makes number seven. Seven? Damn, man. It wouldn't take much to connect the dots. It'd lead straight to her. Reiko Kusumoto. Then they'd know that she was among the victims who got her revenge. Yeah. And then... To Ahara's case. The link between him and Kusumoto is clear as day now, if you know what you're looking for. That link... Sawa-sensei. It took me a while, but I connected the two cases together myself. It was R.K. She never should have even been on their radar. In fact, they traced your name from her. Sawa-sensei knew. She suspected you were involved with the Mikoshiba murder in one way or another, right? You don't care. You see your killing spree on these former bullies like you're doing the country a service. In your eyes, this is vengeance. Actually, no. You'd call it justice, wouldn't you? Except... Sawa-sensei wouldn't have died if it was. That was never my intent. 
She shouldn't have died. No. You don't get to just brush her off like that. Like an afterthought. You had to have known you'd go down with this eventually. And you're fine if all your old students like you and Mamiya go down with you. By then, why would you look back at your trail of blood? Why would you clean up all your carnage? It's not your problem, right? You move forward with one purpose. Send as many bullies to hell as you can. Beyond that, you don't give a shit what happens. Sawa-sensei died in tears. He didn't see what I saw. The fear she must have felt was still frozen on her face. You, Ahara. Reiko Kusamoto. You're all murderers. And so far, all of you have gotten away with it. So why did Yoko Sawa end up having to pay the price? Tell me. Will you even be able to look her in the eye when you die? I doubt it. That's gonna follow me well into the afterlife. So what now, then? March to the cops and turn myself in. You should. If you don't do exactly that, no one will know why she had to die. And that'll be the end of her story. Everyone will keep on dancing around her death. Even though she was completely innocent. Just like the cops are doing. Afraid I can't do that. If I turn myself in now, there's only one thing that happens. Public security takes me out. And worse, Reiko Kusumoto would be compromised. And that, I will never allow to happen. Of all the people involved in this, she deserves to walk free. Her revenge was justified. You think so? All she did was scrape off the scum of the earth that pushed her only son into an attempted suicide. She didn't sit around crying about a legal miscarriage. She took justice into her own hands. No one has any right to indict her for that. So don't go there. Nobody lays a finger on her! Hey, skinny ginger kid. Looks like this is gonna turn into a little more than a chat. Good thinking. So is your plan to kill me too? Anyone who interferes with your justice? We all get added to your body count, don't we? The punishment fits the crime. You're just blind. If you can't see that, then you can go to hell! Stay out of my way! Crank. Ich bin einfach krank. Let's go! Blaues Leben. Siehst du? Siehst du meinen Schlangenstil? Boah, fuck, der hat mich fett bekommen gerade. Warte, ich hatte aber nicht so viel Leben. Chill mal ganz kurz, ey. Chill ganz kurz, wir machen gleich weiter. Schnellstartunterstützung. Ach so, ja geil. Aber nimm mal das ist alles easy erst. Hey, ich konnte doch Dinger drücken. X. Direkt Moro, keine Chance. Wir machen jetzt was anderes. Hab die Schnauze voll von dir, Moro. Oha! Nein, ich mache jetzt kein Ex. Kurz noch einmal Dinger benutzen. Yes!
das war's, Model. Has this been going now? I lost track. Call it? Nah. They're gonna tire out eventually. Beating the shit out of each other is the way some people communicate. I can see that. About that time. Uh, Haven't you had enough yet? What? You think it's time to give it a rest? Uh, hell no. Stay out of our way. Uh, You're not looking so hot. Uh, uh, Lucky I stopped when I did, you know. I had a move lined up with your name on it. You're the one who got lucky as far as I'm concerned. I was about to kick your ass. <sighs> what a fucking mess, guys. Stabil Kuwana, Alter. Wer ist das? Ach so. Wie Kinder, Moruk. Hey, both of you, eat. Your food's getting cold. One of our higher ups cooked this himself. It won't look good if there's any left. <sighs> Not a problem. This stuff's great. Mmm, mm, delicious. Man, this is the good stuff. So that means Reiko Kusamoto could be being targeted by public security. Right. It's possible part of the police wants to catch me as leverage against Kusamoto-san on public security orders. But that's only if public security really is behind this. You're the one who said you got that info from a cop. Well, someone up top's been putting pressure on the investigation. That much is clear. But no matter how you slice it, the fact that you're enemy number one while RK roams free is absurd. Unfortunately, all I got out of that cop was that public security itself is who we're up against. Public security is Japan's top intelligence agency. If they're after you, there's no escape. Agreed. Then I guess now's a good time to make a suggestion. Huh? Hmm? Tell me, who benefits the most from you two fighting? Huh? That'd be public security. The more you drag each other down, the easier they'll be able to get the jump on you. By the time you notice, it's too late. We've got you. And that's exactly what they'd want, right? But what if you two work together? You watch each other's backs and act before RK and public security do. You might even be able to find out who's pulling the strings. Huh. Yeah. For two enemies to join forces, there needs to be an even greater threat to fight. Sure. I'm on board with that. Fine, but this is only temporary. Once we finish with public security, I'm gonna make sure you answer for what you've done. Okay. Uh, then where do we start? Do we just storm public security at this point? No. First, we need to confirm public security is really the enemy we're after. Right. We'll make our move after that. We have the element of surprise. They have no idea we're working together. Then we'll use it to our advantage and outsmart them. <laughs> Aw, look at the boys playing nice. If public security is trying to find some leverage against Kusumoto-san, they'll likely be listening in on her. They're the experts in wiretapping and espionage, after all. We just need a quick confirmation. How? <laughs> we'll just give her a call. Right here? Yes. That way, her enemy will trace the call and pinpoint our location. 
and public security is the only one in Japan who can pull that off, so we'll know right away if it's them. <laughs> You're thinking. <laughs> yeah. Wait, hold up! You saying if you call up Reiko Kusumoto, then the bad guys will start pouring in? Can we maybe not do that here? Actually, that might just work in our favor. Huh? Bro, why are you talking crazy? Uh, Yagami-san, you sure about getting on bro terms without Kaito-san? Wouldn't that bum him out? Whoa. This is amazing. What is this? Good shit, huh? You've got good taste, bro. I knew you of all people would notice the difference. Kuana, when was the last time you spoke to Reiko Kusumoto? Five years ago, on the night she killed Kawai. We arranged it, so we'd never contact each other after that. So you have her number, then? If it hasn't changed. What is it, then? I have an idea. What? We're gonna set a trap to find out if we really are up against public security. If they trace the call and they send people for us, then we know for sure it's them. That's why we're gonna call Reiko Kusumoto using a location that doesn't exist at all. How's that work? We'll use two phones that can't be traced back to us, and we'll relay your voice. Obviously, you won't be wherever we do this from. Best to do this someplace with no one around. Once we see who they send in, mission accomplished. Wait, what's happening? <laughs> Don't worry, I got it. You'll catch up, Sugiyuru-kun. First, we need to know our enemy. I'll have Tsukumo prep us some burner phones. Which means... a truce for the time being? Only while you're here. Gotta keep things civil for my brother. Zhao San's cooking makes even the suckier situations not suck. Cheers to that! Hey, so Tsukumo-kun's already got the phones ready. They're burners that can't be traced back to us. Two of them, right? Just like you asked for. Nicely done, Yokohama 99. You'll work quick. Aber Leute, das war's mit der Folge. Es geht auf jeden Fall spannend weiter. Abonniert, aktiviert die Glocke, lasst mir eine Bewertung da und guckt mal unten in der Videobeschreibung, da ist alles verlinkt.